What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. Um, I actually, off screen, I finally did something. I leveled up all my Pokemon up to level 45, which was extremely obnoxious, given the fact that I don't really have any good training spots. I did go to the, um, the Seafoam Island Caves, and also went to the Pokemon Mansion. Uh, but it took forever. Oh, good lord. I, it was so monot- 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 mon I can't say the word. I can't- monot- mon <laughs> monopony- monopolis? Monopoly? Yeah, Monopoly. Um, anyways, in this episode, we're starting- this is the beginning of the end. Yep, that's right. We are finishing the game, guys, kind of. Uh, all my Pokemon have the exact same moves. And the only move a Pokemon tried to learn was Kiwi. He tried to learn uh, Agility at level 44, I think it was. And I said no to that because I didn't really need it or care for it. Uh, let's call this. Oh, Gary is here! What? Ash! What a surprise to see you here! So you go to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool! And then I'll whip you, Ash, as warm up for Pokemon League. Come on! I had no idea this guy came um, at the end after you've like, you know, after you collected all the badges. Oh, good god, this is going to be an amazing battle, isn't it? I'm glad I just saved. I was really worried about that at first, but now I'm glad I just saved. I thought this battle came, like, you could just come here right away and find him, but I guess not. Okay, um, I don't freaking know. Is this going to be powerful against the ground? Probably not. No. Don't swift me, I am not Taylor! My name is Otaylor! Let's screw it, let's just double edge him to death. This should kill him, right? Ah? No! Really, I might as well just like hit him with a freaking flea. You know, let's hit him with a fly. Fly! There we go. Go up into the sky and fly up real high! Haha! <laughs> Poison sting, that's adorable. I remember when I Pokemon was level 5. <laughs> Loser. Uh, I was about to use Execute. Hmm. Execute does. I have no idea what type that is. Well, let's try Bunny Foo Foo, I guess. Cause why not? Why the heck will not? Hmm. Apparently, if Execute is missing one of its heads, it goes off balance, which is weird. Cause it's like it looks like it'd be more balanced. Cause that head on the far left, that's like looking at me really weird and smiling. He's like, ha. Ah. The only one that smiled. What? It's not very effective. Why not? Is he normal type? So I thought it was is token in sunlight. Maybe he's a earth. Or I mean a grass type. Uh, I'll try mega kick. Kick the balls. Kick the balls. Play some soccer. Oh, I thought it was gonna be super effective. Oh, great. This is going to hurt a little bit. Oh. Well, I'm glad that wasn't very effective since that's one of the most powerful moves in the game. I no. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. Alright. Let's thrash him. And he's down for the count. One, two, three, four. Just like that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now where's Choo Choo? Choo Choo! Go, Choo Choo! Destroy Cloyster! Alright. Uh, thun oh, oh, thunder. Thunder it is. There we go. Yeah, I'm glad I hit. Well, bye, Cloyster. It was nice knowing you. Why don't... Do Pokemon trainers nickname their Pokemon at any, like, series of the game, really? Besides trades. I know they do in trades and all that, obviously, because I have Mr. Mime or Miles or Mime or Mia, Magneton, eh? Uh, what's super effective against electric types? I don't freaking know. Good God. Let's go. Let's just go with Miles. Why not? Um, but, uh, uh yeah. Like, does anyone... Or, in... Uh, blah, 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 blah. blah. In future generations, do people... Let's check a solar beam. I haven't really used it before. Do people um, rename the Pokemon and use those in battle? Like, instead of Magneton, let's say someone named him Maggie. Then, you know, w w does it... Uh, of course! Are you serious? I hate you, Magneton. Seriously? I was just wanting to show off solar beam on my side, from my point of view. Yes, I'm confused. Anymore. Don't you dare confuse me again. I will be so mad. Bro, and don't you dare miss Solar Beam! Solar Beam! There we go. Yeah! Was this really pointless? Am I doing really pointless? No. Well, that kind of sucked, actually. Um, I kind of expected a bit more from you, Miles. I'm pretty disappointed. It's probably because I don't have the stab with it. Yeah. 
So I was kind of worried about if it would be pointless teaching Solar Beam solely because of that, and I might actually die. A potion! Wait, just a potion? Not even like a hyper potion or anything, just a potion! <laughs> okay, well, whatever, we'll, we'll take it. Mm hmm. Yep, wow. See, look at that, still boosted the experience, and I still have no idea why. I still have no idea why. I should just taunt on my thermal bunny foo foo, even though that's a psychic pit. We have not used Chip yet. It just match all his Pokemon up with my Pokemon. 50. Kadabra. Glad he doesn't have Kazam. Um, Fire Blast. Fire Blast! I will light you on fire, sir! And he's done. <laughs> wow, didn't expect him to go down that quick. Alright, and the last one is Steve. Flareon. Oh, that's perfect! That would be perfect! Wait, that is it. I did fight with everyone in this match. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome, actually. Flareon, what a perfect way to end by freaking standing out Steve and hydro pumping this Flareon to the death. To the death! Well, it's nice knowing you dicks. It's the last time we're fighting you. Because, I mean, there's nothing left. We just have the Pokemon League and that's it. And you're done. You're done, son! What? I was just careless. You don't say. That loosened me up. I'm ready for the. What? How are you ready for the Pokemon League? Ash, you need more practice. I beat you! But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell ya. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? <laughs> I hate everything you stand for, Gary. I mean, dicks. Who's Gary? <laughs> Anyways, um, I guess I'm gonna heal because it's probably the smart thing to do because let's be honest, I'm gonna die multiple times. Who's the only- I think Choo Choo is the only one level up in the battle, isn't it? Which is definitely weird. Choo Choo is definitely my- well, I was gonna say my weakest Pokemon. It's cause he doesn't evolve, that's why. It's like he has an evolution, but this game doesn't let you give, evolve it. When you give it a Thunderstorm, it says, Pikachu refuses the Thunderstorm, even though that would normally evolve him to Raichu. But no, of course not. <sighs> Anyways, let's see if we can go this way without getting interrupted by Dix himself, the freaking dick. Okay, well, let's keep continue this way, and then this way. Oh, not that way. I don't think there's anything at all down there. I don't know why anyone would- Oh, crap! I forgot I was playing in this aspect ratio now. Dang it, you know what? I was playing this aspect ratio, but then I dropped my controller and went to this, and then I forgot to put it back. Of course! Is there anything in here? I apologize, guys. I, as much as I, I promised, and then I messed it up. And it always makes me want to restart this episode, but I'm not going to, but I want to. Huh! Ah. Oh. Interesting, that's a patch of grass. No! Good God! I'll see you. God freaking dang it. Okay, I'm back. Oh, oh, no, as I said. Oh, that's interesting. You need serve to get past this part, but no, you can jump over the fence. Okay, don't fall. You know what? Let's get off our bike. We really need to just get off. No, no, no. Get off. Thank you, Ash. You freaking asshole. Haha, <laughs> get it? It's a funny joke. Shh. Pokemon League front gate. Here we go, guys. We started this journey in Pal Town with nothing but a Pikachu at our side. And now we enter the Pokemon League. Let's fight, everybody! Hello? Well, this is weird. Are you gonna say anything? Oh, that's the Boulder Badge. Go right ahead. What? What? Did they not talk? Did I already come through here? I forget. Did I already show you guys this before? I don't remember. Ah, yeah. See, they pa they stop you. You can pass here only if you have the Cascade Badge. Oh, that is a Cascade Badge. Okay, then. Please go right ahead. I remember this place amazing me the first time I got here. Because I was just like... Oh. There might be someone at my door. Oh, I lied. The mailman was here, but he was standing there for like two sec for like five seconds. I'm like, oh, does that mean Indigo Pato, the highest Pokemon Authority, Pokemon League HQ? That was a mouthful. Yeah, the mailman was just standing at my door for something. Like, uh, okay, are you gonna knock? Cause you know, when they deliver packages, sometimes I need to sign for them. So I, then they didn't knock. So I just did that for nothing. Okay, let's go this way. This place always used to amaze me as a kid, though. Like I'd walk through and be like, oh, this music's so cool. And then I would like. The Thunder Badge, yep, the Thunder Badge I have. And just, I don't know, it's so cool, this is pointless, but it's just like a cool, like, introduction to this game, or not the game, but like, you know, to the Pokemon League, right? I don't know, I always thought it was super cool. 
And then I know walking through here, I'll just be like, oh. Like, I'll get to the part where it says the Thunder Badge. I'll be like, oh no, how do. Actually, no, I, I think it was actually this one. Or I'd get here and I'd be like, oh no, I don't have this badge. How do I get past here? Only if you have the Rainbow Badge. And I have no clue how to get the Rainbow Badge. <laughs> I got stuck a lot in this game for you know why it was because I didn't know about HMs. Well, I think I knew. I think I had them. I just didn't know how to use them. Probably TMs as well at that point. But I didn't know like. Well, maybe I did, and I just didn't know you could use them out of battle or something like that. And then the music is immediately interrupted by the stupid swimming music. Hey, it's a Pokemon battle trainer. You can pass here only if you have the Soul Badge. Oh, that is the Soul Badge. <laughs> okay then, please go right ahead. I shall indeed, and there's a little island there for some reason. Why is that there? Is that supposed to be a wall? I was like it's part of the wall or something. No, it's part of the path! That's neat. What do you say? You pass here only if you have the Marsh Badge. Oh, that is the Marsh Badge. What a weird name for a badge. The Marsh Badge? I don't know, it's like there's no Marsh type or Swamp type Pokemon, you silly. I, don't know, I just like how wide open this is. I like, you know, this is completely pointless. There's no point to this at all. Like, there's no trainers, there's nothing, it's just like, you know, it's just a really cool feature they added to, like, make it this super epic, and is there anything interesting in this grass? Oh, it's a primate, I almost called him Mankey. Is that, is that the, uh, uh, unevolved form, I don't remember who Mankey, um, yes, Mankey is the unevolved form of primate, that's right, okay, it took me a second, but I remember, super effective, what? Flying type is super effective against fighting type? Or was that something else? And now we get this mini maze. It's the mini mart, the mini mart. The volcano badge. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if that's what all these rocks are supposed to be. They're supposed to be like, you know, um. <laughs> you know, arms. Um, like volcano rocks spewed from the volcano mouth itself. Is there anything heal? Heal? Is there anything heal? I just made that like, baby sound for like no reason at all. Ooh, and I wonder. The mailman just came here. I wonder if he got me anything. <laughs> I ordered a game a few days ago, and it was actually a game I had before, but the disc stopped working, and that's actually the Spongebob uh, movie video game, which is just as good as Battle for Bikini Bottom, so, if not better, actually, I don't remember, because there's actual upgrades in that game. Like, you can upgrade your attack and stuff like that, I remember that being really fun. You pass here only if you have the Earth Badge. Oh, that is the Earth Badge, duh. Okay then, please go right ahead. <laughs> He's like, okay then. Victor Victory Road. I almost said Victoria Road. <laughs> uh, Pokemon. I think I think that's like a name of a street in my town, if I recall correctly. And there's, there's another cave. This always confused me. Why is there another cave? I mean, they have this really nice place, and they're just like, oh, here's another cave. <laughs> so this is one of the most popular chaining spots, and I probably would have came here if I had unlocked this, but you know, I hadn't done an episode. Where I locked this yet, so I couldn't train here, and it was kind of just obnoxious and annoying for everybody. For everybody involved! Oh god, that's not very effective. Oh, super, at least it's not explosion. If it was explosion, that would suck. But I'm still might be dead. Ah There we go. At least I got the experience. You know, maybe we should swap out. Let's go with Steve. Solely for when the rock types attack. And then I could like, or ground types, or I guess rock types too. What's this? Do I need a boulder up there? That's weird. Hmm. Okay, so this is all pretty much blind. Oh, can we stop walking to that, please? Okay, so I can't do anything with that rock. Let's see what else we could find. Oh, uh, really, Geo dudes? Graveler is like the. Is it the? It's either the second evolution or the first evolution. Well, duh, but but yeah, it's I I don't I know one of them. You might you have to trade Geodude for to get the evolution of, but I don't remember if it was Graveler or not. Well, I guess not. No, that's not true. That can't be because yeah, you could uh, you can catch Graveler, but you can't catch the super evolved form and another Geodude. Okay, after this, I'm gonna start cutting unless we find stuff we haven't seen before. Blue, blue. Ah, uh, we're gonna need. Are we gonna need cuts? We're probably not, actually, although we're probably gonna need Flash. Does Mr. Mime know Flash? I think he does. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't played in a few days. I was gonna say, I haven't played a long time, but that's not true. I just played not too long ago, actually. Um, okay, let's go to Strength. Hmm. Um, who has it again? Trippy. Trippy, that's right. I was like, who the heck has this thing again? 
Okay. Push it to the limit. What? Oh, you can push it up there. Oh, interesting. I mean, I don't know why, like, my immediate thought was, there's no way I could push a boulder up the stairs. But then I saw that whole thing there, I'm assuming that's a whole thing. And then I was like, oh, well, I guess you have to push it up the stairs. But no, I guess that's not true. And why am I showing this battle when I promised I'd start cutting these battles? Oopsie daisies, I just got started to stop. Blah, blah, blah. I just started talking, it didn't want to stop. Okay, bye, dear dude. Bye. All right. Um, there's probably something here. Oh, we gotta push the rock over there. Is there anything in that rock? No, just part of the puzzle. Nope, okay. That requires the strength of a boulder to weigh it down. Oh, does this... Okay, I'm back, and I gotta reset them. You know what? We didn't really accomplish much at all this episode, but I will call an episode here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you like, subscribe already. My name's Chris. Next episode, we will properly take on... This freaking victory road cave thingamabob. I'm gonna go check what I got in my mail, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!